Huh? Internationalization, right? Actually, we are in action classes discussions. Just we completed validations part and we discussed only one action class. We are discussing controller part. But before discussing the remaining controllers, just let's finish internationalization first. Okay? Then actually uh, more clarity we can get from the remaining action classes. Okay? As per architecture, if you submit any input form request, that input request first it will go to built-in servlet class action servlet this action servlet at the time of deployment to time itself action servlet init method will read struts xml file information struts hyphen config dot xml file information it will read and it will make available to the action servlet and as well as request to processor classes That XML file will available to this action servlet and request to process. They both can able to read your struts XML file, configuration data. Okay. Whenever you submit any input form request, for that input form, action servlet will create a proper bean class object. That bean classes we can implement by using action form, dyna action form, validator form, dyna validator form, validator action form, or dyna validator action form by using any one of this class we can create this bean class so this bean class object action servlet will create and store data by request to processor and it will execute validations finally it will return validation errors to the user after completion of validations if there is no validation error finally it will try to map our data to controller to implement these controllers here we have one action class dispatch action class and lookup dispatch action class and we have mapping dispatch action class and we have event to dispatch action class these are for doing controller operations controllers means the responsibility of controllers just they will read input form data and they will process just if you have any model part here model if you have model here you can read data after reading data we can send it to model part model will interact with finally database it will give response the final response it will give to the request to processor based on that response it need to forward output pages this is what actual architecture so what actually we thought from the last session we are discussing action classes but before going to discuss the remaining action classes like dispatch action lookup dispatch actions first you need to understand internationalization internationalization why because this dispatch action lookup dispatch action mapping and event dispatch action classes for what purpose they given for doing <coughs> multiple button and multiple form operations so before going to discussing that multiple button and multiple action operations if that buttons values if you change by applying internationalization if you change your browser language in case of multiple buttons what happens that browser button values also it will change right in case if you change your button values how they will perform their operations you have to realize so that's why just i'll go through internationalization first so internationalization a shorthand name is iatnn internationalization in between internationalization i and n we have 18 characters that is what actually iatnn don't thought like only support for 18 languages okay it will support for up to 200 languages internationalization internationalization in between this n and i there are 18 characters 18 characters are there so the shorthand name is i18n and we have one localization localization keyword so for this localization between this n and l we have 10 characters so they named it l10n L10N means localization, I8N means internationalization. So by using this I8N what actually we can do? We know about localization, right? By using that localization in this validations part, we applied validations for multiple locales like US validation and India validations we applied, right? By using that localization concept. Now just I want to go through internationalization. By using this internationalization what we can do? We can change our input language and output languages. Let's say if you have one form here, one simple form here 
if you have one simple input form registration form simple example other registration if you have one single form other registration form for english users i require title here as a as a indian government application here indian government application what actually they are they required here for english users english form you need to display english buttons english label names everything you should display in english in case if the user is english user in case if the requested user is hindi user if the requirement is for the hindi user hindi content here you need to populate like aadhar form something like aadhar aadhar form and id id and name registered okay whatever it is so hindi characters if you want to display here for hindi user hindi characters in case if the requested user if he is a telugu user for this telugu user if you want to display complete content in telugu language like aadhar form aadhar form id name registered okay based on requested language user if you want to change your form content by applying it then you can do this you can change it right as per architecture whenever you submit your browser language as per architecture your browser language it will feed into session scope right how many times it will store that language into session scope only one time at first submission means once if you submit your form in telugu language to actions are laid this request to process what it will do in session scope it will store your language here let's say if i submit telugu from here browser it will store inside session telugu language in case if i do second submit on first submit if i send telugu on second submit if i if i submit hindi from here so on next submit if you pass hindi from here it will not store that hindi value request to processor at first time request only it will store telugu value then the next time onwards if you try to change it also it will not change means once if your browser if it load by using english if you change it to telugu okay it will change your language to telugu but once if you submit your form after submitting your form if you if you try to change your browser language it will not change your browser content it will keep asterisk telugu only okay so here what we should know we have to know how to populate content here first thing how to populate dynamic content like telugu content hindi content and english contents here and you should know how to override that session attribute here the two concepts what we have to know here how to read data how to read data from properties file okay how to read data from properties and how to populate dynamically how to populate dynamically <laughs> we have to know this first and the next we have to know how to override how to override session locale value if you know these two things then you can do you can apply internationalization for your application so first thing you have to know how to read data from properties file so if you required here three languages then how many lang how many properties files we have to create at least for each language we have to create one one properties file in case of internationalization properties file base names should be same and your language extensions you have to provide along with your base names means for english user one properties file for hindi user one properties file for telugu user one properties file you have to create in that properties file actually your language values you need to put whenever you change browser language whenever you change browser language from the corresponding properties file you have to read data and you have to populate here but while creating the properties files you have to you have to follow internationalization standards here as per internationalization standards same base properties file you have to maintain for all these properties files in case if you are going to provide support for all the 26 languages we have many languages right up to 600 6, 1600 languages in india okay the popular languages we have 10 languages so for the 10 languages in 10 languages if you want to provide support for your aadhar application for each language we have to create one one properties file along with iitn standards 
we have to create for each properties file one one for each language one one properties file along with iitn standards as per iitn standards all languages properties files base names should be same means properties file name should be same for all the properties files but along with that names we have to provide some extensions that extension names should be your language first two characters means here i want to provide support for english telugu and hindi so then what you should do here you have to create three properties files you have to create three properties files okay common name i want to take here iitn iitn underscore te dot properties file for telugu user so in this properties file name the base name is what here iitn is the base name you can call it as base name base name this is what actually base name of your properties file iitn is the base name same base name we have to continue for all the properties hindi dot properties files and these are what underscore t underscore hi these are language extensions language extensions why only these extensions we have to use why means these are iso standard extensions why iso standard extensions i have to use here whenever you try to change language in browser actually browser submitted values are these only actually browser language it need to find here right to send response in same telugu language or hindi language so in browser if you open any browser in that browser if you try to read your languages you can find these extensions so by default browsers will follow iso standards as per iso standards these are the actual standard extensions for telugu underscore t a for hindi h i for english underscore e n for tamil underscore t a for kannada like that the first two language two characters we have to use extensions iitn underscore en dot properties for english it is for english en so in this way you have to create properties files first thing you have to know how to create properties files we know how to create then from this properties files you should know how to read data in browser while creating your input page if you want to create a form here aadhar form this aadhar form content how to read from this properties files you should know actually to read properties file data we know actually in util package we have one properties class we have right we have one properties class and we have one resource bundle class for reading properties data so which class we have to use in case of internationalization either resource bundle or properties we have to go through resource bundle class resource bundle class dynamic properties file based on language based on locale so instead of using properties class properties class can load single properties at a time but if it is a resource bundle class resource bundle class can load any properties file based on language input in case of properties file we have to create properties p equal to new properties p dot load and some new file input stream of we have to load some file a static file location we have to pass at any time if you request for a key always it used to read data from only one single properties file but if it is resource bundle class we have to give along with your key you have to give language input based on that language it will choose your properties file dynamically and that input key from that language properties file it will read so here the recommended class to read data from properties file is resource bundle actually that resource bundle code also we no need to write in case of servlet application code coming to the starts to read language i mean to read characters from properties file to read telugu characters or to read hindi characters or to, re to read english characters here here you have to use tag library tag library you can read data you no need to write any by using simple tag library be properties file dynamically let's say here if you have one key for other form title title equal to other form and in hindi if you have title same title key equal to some other form
and here in okay this type of no need to write any code just we have to import a html tag library then html column form html some tags right there is one tag message bean colon message key equal to title if you pass here title if you pass here then this title value dynamic choose from properties file in case if your browser language if you request from english so then print content if you so now we know and we know how to read the data the main thing here it is not should know important here how to overwrite session session language value change your no use it will not change your browser content so what here overwrite actual session values per request actually it will execute per session that per session value we need to change to per request okay first realize how to create properties files and how to read data by using bean tags later i'll show you how to override this existing values okay just we have to create properties files for each language and to read the data we have to use bean tag library